Hey everyone, welcome back to Airflow 101. This is episode 8. In the last few videos, we've talked about DAG, DAG runs, the states, how does the states change. In this video, I would like to talk about a very important concept, which is backfill and catch up. Along with that, we'll also see how you can use cron expressions in your DAGs. And we'll see how the execution date are determined in the Airflow and how scheduler picks up the DAGs based on their execution date. So let's get started. Let's start with when a DAG is triggered or more precisely, when does the scheduler says that I need this DAG to be executed. When we were writing our DAG file in the default arcs, we mentioned the start date. In this case, the start date is 13th of April. So logically, the DAG should be triggered or should be picked up by scheduler on 13th of April april at midnight but this is not how airflow works the time at which diagram is created is equal to start date plus schedule interval in the default arcs or when we were creating the dag object we provide one another key which is the schedule interval in this case it is daily so this is a cron expression or a cron preset and we will talk about it in the upcoming slides but for now all I need to say about this is that it means that schedule this DAG every day. So we want the DAG run to be created once every day. Now the DAG run will be created on 14th of April at midnight because our start date is 13th and our scheduled interval is daily. So 13 plus 1 which is 14 and the DAG will be triggered on, at, on 14th of April at midnight. I know this sounds very confusing and it is very confusing, but this is how Apache Airflow works. Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. Here I have my Airflow web server and we have two DAGs. Both have start date as 10th of July and scheduled interval as daily. And you can see today's date is 10th of July as well. Here's DAG2. The same start date and scheduled interval. Now let me turn on both of this DAG. And you can see that no DAG run is created because the DAG run should be created at midnight tonight. So let's go ahead and change the start date to 9th for DAG2. And let's refresh the page. And we can see your DAG run is instantly created. So I hope that I was able to make you understand this concept with the help of this example. Now let's move on to the next topic. Another thing that I would like to talk about is the execution date and the start date. If you open the tree view, you can see the run date, which is also known as the execution date and the start date date. In this example, we can see that both of these are same. But if you open, if I open the DAG that was executed earlier, we can see that the execution date is 9th of July and the start date date is 10th of July. This is because the run date is the start of the scheduling interval, which in this case was 9th of July. And the start date date is the time at which the DAG run was created. If you manually trigger a DAG, both run date and the start date, date will be same. And in run ID, manual will be prefixed. So this helps you to identify which DAGs were manually triggered and which and which DAG run was created by the scheduler. When defining the schedule interval, you have the option to provide a cron expression. Well, if you have a very complicated scheduling interval, then you can use a cron expression, but in simpler cases, you can use the presets that are by default provided. To know more about these presets, you can head on to this link I have provided and there you can understand what these presets mean. I have added the meaning to them. So like the early means that each tag run will be created after an interval of one hour. Weekly means that a tag run will be created once in a week. So if you have a very normal or not so complicated scheduling interval, you can use these presets. This will help you to save a lot of time and uh, this makes sure that you don't have any bugs in your DAG file. Now let's understand one of the most important concepts in Apache Airflow, backfill and catch up. Suppose you have a task that requires backfilling. Apache Airflow gives you the functionality to backfill all of the DAG runs whose time dependencies have been satisfied if you keep catch up enabled. If you keep catch up as false, only the latest diagram will be created. Now, 
Let's understand this with the help of an example. Here I have the snippet from my DAC file and here you can see that the start date is 15th of July and my schedule interval is early. If I turn on this tag at 15th of July 4 10 am instead of one DAG run, four DAG runs will be created and the four DAG runs will have execution time as midnight, 1 am, 2 am and 3 am but the start time for all four DAG runs will be 410 because the execution time is the beginning of the scheduling interval and the start time is the time at which the DAG run was created. We have already discussed about this in the previous slides. Now let's jump onto the web server and practice this concept. So here we are on our web server and we have two DAGs here. Let's look at DAG1. And we can see that the start date is 15th of July. The catch up is set as false and the schedule interval is early. Let's look at DAG2. Here, the start date is again 15th of July. The scheduling interval is early. The only difference here is the catch up is set as true. Now, let's turn on DAG1. So, as per the theory I've taught in the previous slide, only one DAG run should be created. And here we have just one DAG run. Now, if I turn on DAG2, the start date was 15th of July, the scheduling interval was early and the current time is 1 p.m. and 27 minutes. So, there should be 13 DAG runs created. We have two DAG runs. And more than two will be created. So, it will create around 13 DAG runs. So let's have a look at the tree view. So here we are on the tree view and you can see that the execution date or the run ID of these tasks, these uh, DAG runs is equal to the beginning of the schedule interval. So you can see here it is midnight, here it is 1 am, here it is 2 am and if we see at the started at time it is equal to the current time. So it is 1.27 pm. Here it is again 127, 128 and I hope that uh, this example was able to make you understand this concept better. So uh, do try playing around with catch up and uh, add different start dates and schedule interval and see what happens. So the next thing that I would like to talk about is good practices. So uh, if you're using catch up, please make sure that you have static dates in your DAG. Don't use dynamic dates. Uh, because you might get some uh, unexpected results. Same is the case for idempotency. Make sure your DAGs are idempotent. So that's all for now guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep practicing and thank you all for watching.